Hey, so I was just getting back home and I realized that I should probably uh, record a little video uh, feedback message for you um, about my recent, or well, somewhat recent Hackintosh install. So, uh, a lot of people have been saying, well, you, you know, you built a Hackintosh and it was, you know, very powerful, but how come you're not running it anymore? And as you can see, um, I'm actually running Windows. I'm actually running Windows 7. So I wanted to just let you guys know why that came about. So I'm, I'm using my little point and shoot, so this is kind of hard because I have to hold it. Uh, but basically, you know, I built this system. You know, here it is. Big old tower. Come on, focus. Yeah. Big old tower. Um, there's a the system right there. It was an awesome Hackintosh system. Uh, the reason why I'm at now on a Windows machine is uh, no fault of Hackintosh, no fault of Windows. Actually what happened was uh, after I built the Hackintosh uh, I kept getting kernel panics, the gray screen, um, basically like a bl uh, blue screen of death for, for Windows. Anyway, so I was getting kernel panics for memory issues and I had no idea what it was. I didn't even know it was for memory. But uh, but finally, after I erased my drives about four times, I, I was fed up and just said, okay, well, I'm going to put Windows 7 on here. Uh, I purchased Windows 7 for like $280 or something, or $180, I forget. Uh, installed it, thought all my prayers would be answered, and lo and behold, it uh, erased my drives two more times after using it over about a week. Uh, so I had no idea what was going on, and then I got a blue screen of death, like probably four times a day. Uh, went through a lot of craziness. Lose, uh, I thought I lost all my client files, all my files, you know, all that stuff. So freaked out, and uh, you know, my IT buddy Alex, uh, Team Blue, he he read my blue screen and then figured out that it was memory. It was my RAM, and after that, you know, I tested my RAM with. Uh, Memtest 86 plus I think it was. Behold one of my four gigabyte sticks of RAM was bad. Uh, so I got that replaced, haven't had an issue since. Now I am still on Windows 7 because I do run a business and I need to be productive and the Hackintosh was pretty reliable except for the memory issues. I'm pretty sure it would be reliable but the fact is I'm stuck in the office editing videos all day long. I just don't have time to go through the Hackintosh install again, even though it is easy. I, I did all the steps for you guys. But with that said, you know, I, I will probably go back to Hackintosh one day, probably a dual boot. My tutorial is uh, good. I, you know, there's nothing wrong with it. It is a little outdated now that it's February and there's a new Sandy Bridge processors out. Um, when I was doing mine, that was basically just in, be uh, in beta stage, so no one really was running them. Probably still do my build uh, again because it is insane build an insane build. You know, this computer is super fast. I can't even believe it still. So that is why I am on Windows 7 and not uh, my Hackintosh. And I, you know, if I have the time uh, and the dedication, I will probably go back to Hackintosh because I love Mac. As you can see, I have a MacBook Pro that I still use all the time right next to my Windows machine. And, uh, you know, I'll probably go back to that one day. Uh, probably one day soon, but you know it'll it'll take some time because I've kind of gotten used to Windows, and and I know all you diehard Macintosh people are like, no, Windows sucks. Well, I thought so too, but Windows 7 is actually pretty sick. And with the new Windows 8 coming out, hopefully it's pretty cool. Um, I'm not too happy with the new Mac Lion, Mac OS X Lion that's coming out or whatever, um, with its whole you know iOS interface where you scroll down, you're actually scrolling up. I hate that. So hopefully. Uh, Hopefully Apple loses its appeal to uh, iOS devices, especially for desktop computers and gets back to the roots because it's kind of going badly. Um, anyway, so that's why I'm on Windows and I most likely go back to Hackintosh. Uh, so, see ya.